a, an unboxing and uh, to musing, to muse, a trial. It's not really going to be a review because this will be the first time using it. So this is what I went and got today. How close I am. So, since uh, Exterminator and Moyo uses it, that's right, you saw that. Awesome knife. Um, we got it when I, anyway, Gerber gave it to us when uh, we went to Iraq. So, I thought I was going to need it, but I don't. So let's see what we got on here. There are a couple of little... I'm sure I can read and find out. A couple of little leads of some kind. and faster. Sounds good. Just plug this guy again. Probably could take that off. It's not going to do us much good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move the camera around and let's take some blades off. This would be the first thing you check before you go making a video. Make sure you get your junk jacked up high enough. Hopefully it works. So this is the, the Chicago. Let's see what we got going on here with this guy. Those bad boys were on tight. The Chicago for electric. It's got a lot more torque than what I thought it was going to have. But uh, I want to show you guys. I just thought about this. <clears throat> so I've already the blade's already off, and I'm going to have to sharpen that guy. Man, that's uh, look at that. I don't know. That's that's pretty dull. But uh anyway. <clears throat> what I wanted to show you. Hopefully this all works out. So you know, here's the, the bolt that sits up on the blade. Like that one. So when you're 
you know, air ratchet that off. Or see how much is already hanging out. So I'm gonna take you up here. This is, I've already got the hood off. <clears throat> so the bolt down below is, that's it right there, sticking up. So, but it's like that. This is the other blade. So you see how much is coming up there. Sorry, I'm not meaning to do that zoom. Okay. One more try at this. My uh, my battery died. Also had to get some new sockets today while I was there at uh, at Harbor Freight. Uh, I don't know why I always I just always get deep well sockets. I don't know why. It seems like if I ever don't have deep wells, that's when I need them. So anyway, the battery's off. The the my other camera battery died. So what I wanted to show you, oh the battery's off, the blade is off. I might have to sharpen it. But um so you see how this blade's still on there? You see how the how it's all hooked up. Well, so that sits like that in the in the spindle housing. So you got this is the top end you know I've already got the hood off so there's the top end and it sits like that so I started ratcheting it off and the air ratchet was just spinning so I forgot I had to come up here and hold this guy hold that hold that nut so I could get this rest of this thing off so that's a uh, that's a, that's a long puppy there, man. If you guys that don't have the walk behinds, I don't know how I can. Uh, if that, uh, kinda, this is why I've been trying to start using my other, my other, you know, my real camera. I don't know if you guys are on that or not. That's the bolt that holds my blade on. Oh. Let me, well, I'm just going to put this back up in here. That way I don't lose stuff like that. So yeah, so that's it. I'm going to sharpen the blades. And I'll put them back on. It's not a, like I said, I'm not really going to do a review until I've used it a, a few bunches of times. But one thing I didn't get to use that I wanted to show you guys was I got this, uh, it's just a Gerber. It's an awesome knife. It's heavy, spring loaded. Don't know if you guys can see the, the steel stamp on it S30V. You can see, I, I don't know what I got it in there. I got a little bit of rust on my tip. So I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna have to take care of that. This thing is so freaking sharp. I have never had to sharpen it. And I've had it. I got this my first trip to Iraq. Which was in 2003. And uh, I've never had to sharpen it. Matter of fact, I don't know if you can. You can't see can't see it anyway I've got a scar that goes all the way around my finger where I was closing this bad boy on my you know how you do it like this to close it on your side and I didn't move my finger out and I just went like that took the tip of my finger just about all the way off so anyway I'm gonna finish this up and uh, yeah I just wanted to do a little unboxing later